a video now. Tell him, so, you tried to make a recipe last night out of a recipe book, and, and I've just said that it's an absolutely ridiculous thing to do. I just said that I tried a recipe from a book I got. Yeah, so you didn't you didn't actually use the pages of the book no, to cook. No, no. Okay then. Well, that's it was, it was hugely disappointing anyway. Um, what did well what 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 did you do then? Well, I mean, it, the ingredients looked good enough. I mean, there was some smoked haddock. Yeah. Some smoky bacon. Um, some garlic chopped. Uh, some codgeneal pasta. Looks like. Snails, shells. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, some creme fraiche and lemon juice. Yeah. And some broccoli, broccoli florets. Yeah. And um, it was just a bit bland. I, I added some seasoning to it and... Uh, was it all right when you put the seasoning in? Bit, was it a bit better when he put the seasoning yeah, a in? Bit, but it was still a bit too stodgy for my liking. Anyway. Stodgy, or yeah, I think it was that pasta. I don't, I didn't particularly like that kind of pasta. I yeah. prefer tagliatelle or spaghetti bolognese. All right, pastas. I don't like them. Well, they look like ribbons and all that. Yeah. So um, I did that. And I had the, I had the, I had a bit of it. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. But it wasn't my favourite. I must admit. Well, I got uh, the other day when I I bought some mushroom sauce mm. to put it in with it. So was it the mainly the the pasta that you didn't like then? Yeah, it was too chewy. I could have I should, I should have perhaps had to give it a bit longer just to al dente it a bit. Hmm. But, um, live and learn. I mean, I just I just went through my book and I just flick a page and see where. It, you know, yeah, really random. Sort of random. Do that sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, well, couldn't you have rescued it somehow? I you, it what, you only had a bit of it and threw it away? Well, you oh. wouldn't have eaten it. I think I would. You bloody wouldn't. You don't like fish. Well, I, I do like some fish. Um, well, there was a fair bit left, I tell you. Well, you threw it away, so... I made too much again, you see. Yeah. So I thought, oh, well, I'll bring it up and see if he fancies coming, but as usual, I didn't answer. Well, I, um, what was this yesterday? I rang you. Uh, I rang you your house, and I also rang you on your mobile. I didn't get an answer from either. I don't hear it. Well, you need to have a phone that glows rather than, you know, if you have problems problem with your hearing... Or your herring, even. I'll try some of different next time. There's an interesting one with squid. That looks quite interesting. I do like squid. Um, with right. some sort of mango salad to it. It looks nice. All right. Yeah, it's, I don't think oh, it's oh. some... Oh. Well. Quickly. All right, I'm, I'm running. I'm filming you at the same time. Shall I hand it over to you then? Quickly, Alton, yeah, quickly. All right, then. I'll pan around. Come on, answer. Betty Tigers, hello. Elton Clough, that, yeah, that's my name. Elton Clough. It's normally pronounced Clough, but I don't really mind. My broadband connection. Oh, is it is it gone wrong again? Get on your nerves, don't they? Just constantly on you, constantly wanting something out of you, aren't they? So I'm trying to. I'm sorry, I'm just sorry. Sort of interrupting the conversation. I'm sorry. Um, you, you want to know how I get on with my broadband provider? Right, I get on get on great because. Because it's the landlord of the shop, he gives me free broadband, so I get on very well. Mm. Okay then. Okay, all the best. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's ringing. That's good. Hey, eh? it's ringing. 
Oh, it's still recording. Oh, thank you for that, Grant. Well, I'm I'm very surprised that I'll just show you the the um, why this was a stalemate. It's white to move, and you can't move anywhere. But I was just amazed. I thought I was convinced that I'd lose. Oh. I I was convinced that I'd l lose this match, but. Well, I'm convinced I see you for beat me because I'd, uh, but but it just so happened that. Uh, Stop bragging. Hey. Stop bragging. No, it, it, well, I'm, no. I mean, you you should have won, uh, but you just missed an open goal. Uh, you know, it's like, uh, yeah. It's, it's annoyed me. Yeah, well, it's. Uh, that's it, you know, it's like, uh, well, wait, Evan could have a penalty shootout, seeing as it's nil-nil. It's not, you, you won one nil. No, no, I, no, I, 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 no, I don't win because... Yeah, you won the first game. Oh, so, yeah, well, we can have another game if you want. Yeah, yeah, still but you should have won this time. Yeah. All right. So, Graham, who do you think is going to win the um, Premier League? Um, I think Man City will Are you saying that because you don't, you're a Manchester United fan? I know you're a Crystal Palace fan and you're a Manchester United fan. No. And it's, and I can imagine with your psychology, you, you, you're sort of anticipating, you know, you, possibly your worst case scenario, as it were. So you like saying saying that you think Man City might win it because it's what you least want. I think the Wimbledon are the best team at the minute. I don't like them particularly, but they are the best team. I think you can argue it. I think they could. I think they could do the. You think Liverpool would win instead? I think there's a possibility because I mean I think tonight um, they could drop at least two points. I'll see you later. Well, try then, Charlotte. Bye. Cheerio. Because Palace are a good team at home. They've got passionate support. Yeah. So, I mean, it seems like a place where they... I mean, yesterday, um, Brighton were playing against uh, Liverpool. Well, it was, was it Saturday? No, it was yesterday. Oh, yeah, Sunday. Yeah, it was an early kick-off, wasn't it? It was an early kick-off, but Brighton haven't been in very good form recently. No, they were, they were shocking yesterday as well. They, they, uh, they can't score for a lot of money. Mm. Yeah, so... Can you get it on your telly then, tonight? Yeah. You might get it later on, match of the day or something. I don't think there'll be a match of the day just for that one match. So that's my forecast that Man City will win it again. What score? No, I mean, well, tonight I think they'll win about 3 1, something like that. Yeah. And um, I think they'll win the league. Mind you, it's, it's funny really because um, Tottenham Hotspur, they, they won at Manchester City. Well, they, they did the double over Man City this yeah. season, didn't they? They're so inconsistent, Tottenham. Aren't they? Yeah. Really inconsistent. I mean, they 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 were. I mean, I suppose arguably a draw would have been a fair result yesterday. What for? Um, oh, I see what I mean. Well, I mean, Ronaldo got a hat trick, didn't he? Yeah. He's Fifty-one hat trick in top class football. Did they need, come near to when? Did they get near to equalising near the end? Uh, what Tottenham? Yeah. It's hard to tell with just match of the day bits. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Well, if they, if they had a near miss near the end, I think they would have yeah. probably Brentford, shown that. Brentford got a good win against Burnley. Yes. Yeah, because the, 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 what do you call it, the Danish uh, player, he, what? the Danish player, you know, who had the, oh, yeah, the yeah, uh, health problem yeah. in the, yeah. yeah. 
in the European yeah, matches. He, he laid on that first goal, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's... Uh, well, I'm glad... I'd like to see... I'd like to see uh, Brentford stay up in I the Premier Brent, League. It's like Alan Shearer was saying, he reckons one more win will see him safe. Yeah? That's what he reckons. Because that was a fairly... You know, Leeds had to wait until the very, very last drags of the game to to get the winner because they were winning 1-0 and then then um, what do you call it Norwich equalised in the last minute and then uh, they had, you know there was about six minutes of injury time and Leeds managed to get the winner but uh, but they've got um, they've got what that um, England forward back with them now so the thing is he was injured for a while he used to play for Middlesbrough. Um, he's um, gets called up in the England squad. He's like a, he, he gets some clever goals. I don't know. What he, well, he's he's a um, he's not like he's sort of like uh, well, he's not short or anything, but he's not like a a big, tall, centre, strong centre forward. But he's a he's a clever player, you know. I suppose he's a bit. And who's he playing for now? Uh, he plays for Leeds, but he, he's just coming back. Oh, Bamford. That's him, yeah. Bamford, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, so he's. Um, but they've also got that um, the American manager, and they had quite a good performance at Leicester. But then they, the the last the last match they had at home, it was a bit. Um, I think they got beaten quite easily, didn't they, by somebody three nil? It might that might have been Aston Villa. Yeah, Aston Villa. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but I think West Ham beat uh, um, Villa at um, you know at the West Ham ground yesterday. I don't know. There's one. It might have been two nil actually. To West Ham. Yeah. Against. Against Aston Villa. Villa. Yeah. yeah, I think. Uh, and then, oh, and then there was a surprise away win at Southampton by Watford. Um, I don't know. But they got they got at least two. It might have been. I'm not. I think it might have been two one actually. Um, I'm not sure they got a. Yeah. Well, so who who are you three to go down then, basically? Oh, Norwich. Yeah, well, they they're right at the bottom. I mean, they they you know they nearly got a point at Leeds, which might have boosted them a bit. Burnley might not escape at this time. No, no. And uh, Leeds. Yeah, I well, think Everton will, I think Everton will escape it just. Mm, I don't. Yeah, I think I don't know. I can see Ele Everton failing. It's a bad uh, appointment, I think, because he's got the experience. Note against Frank, he's saying he hasn't got much experience at that level, has he? Right, yeah. Well, he, he has actually, because he managed Chelsea. Yeah, but he didn't manage him yeah. to any great. No, but they, they, but, but they, what do you call him? That okay. German manager took over, and then they, that, uh, that was the year they won the Champions League. When who took over? When oh, that Tuchel. Tuchel. Yeah, Tuchel. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, but now Chelsea's immediate future is up in the air, isn't it? Mm. This day, I mean, they've... Um, Stan Collymore was saying in yesterday's paper, he said that you, know, you, shouldn't be, you shouldn't be using rogue money, basically, uh, to win trophies. Mm. Basically, that's what Chelsea have done. They, 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 they bought, the, they buy the title every year. Well, I mean, you still you still got to sign your good players to well, play together. One one. They've got that Mason Mount and... Uh, yeah. They've got one or two, yeah. But there's a lot of players now that are a bit upset about their future. They're, they're on bloody, what, half a million a week, all of them, but they're, they're all of a sudden worried. You don't... Do you think they get half a million a week? Well, I'm not, the, the top earners... What do you reckon, then, uh, Asif? 50. They'll be getting some like 250 a week, don't they? Maybe 
Ronaldo's on 400 and something a week. Yeah, what, 400,000? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's talk in there, so there's people that man you would start looking at two shots. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah, because he might t he's might not be able to keep him. keep him on at Chelsea. A good manager. Yeah. Well, Conte is a good manager, but he, he just I think he was already out for the Man United. Um, mm. Vacancy. Well, they're on they're on about the um, what Paris Saint Germain manager. Pochettino, yeah, I don't know what it is. But, well, the thing was that... Um, yeah, from Paris Saint-Germain, and they just bought Messi and... Uh, well, yeah, but the thing is that um, they they looked like they were going through, didn't they? Uh, they were, they were, they'd, well, they they'd won 1-0 at home to Real Madrid, they and then they... Then, they played, they were 1-0 up away, away at Real Madrid. And, um, yeah, they were 1-0 up away. Yeah. And are you, are you going to Tesco? Yeah. Could you, could you get some, we need some more biscuits for the tin. Yeah. Might we give you some money? Thank you very much. Sorry about this, biscuit. Uh, that's all right. Let's yeah. get some nice biscuits. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, Be creative. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so there were... PS Paris Saint-Germain, they were winning 1-0 away at Real Madrid as well. Uh, three, one, so they were 2-0 they were two two nil up on aggregate, and then they... they um, what you call it, Real Madrid got a goal back because of, I think a bit of a goalkeeping error or something like that and then that gave Madrid a bit more of encouragement and then there was another um, I think they made another mistake or something like that, scored another goal and then straight from the kickoff they got the third, yeah. so they won 3-1 and so they went through That was through. Benzema, wasn't it? He scored all three Yeah, 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 it was and a fantastic Mbappé uh, scored Madrid's, didn't he? Um, PSGs, you mean? Uh, yeah, PSG, yeah. 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 I always think of bread cakes when I, when I hear his name. And Bappe, yeah. 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 Because there's a place just near Manchester where you can go into the lay-by and buy Barbara's Baps. <laughs> yeah, well, that... Well, I hope they don't cost as much as the wages for the... Uh, Paris football players. Come in and get one of Barbara's baps. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you fancy seeing that uh, that film about the called the Duke about the? Oh, well, we were going to go, but I don't know what's happening. We, I don't think she's bothered to be honest with you. So I've been looking on the internet at a dating site today. Well, don't you know how old you are? What's that mean? It means I'm filming you, so, you know, you need to, you know, be aware that people will hear what you, you say. What does it mean? With her? Well, I mean, I'm not knocking her. She's, I'm not having a go with her or anything. I'm just saying, I'm like, she's busy. Yeah, well, she's well I mean, with, yeah, uh, but if, if, you, if, you care, you. if you care enough about somebody, you've got to... Uh, you know, you got to give them the space, haven't you? Really? She's very busy with a new job. Yeah. And all that. And she said she'd be in touch anyway. Well, there you go, then, Lonnie. I get a bit frustrated, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's you know, if you if you care about somebody, they're worth waiting for. Well, yeah, worth waiting for to a point. But I mean, I'm nearly the end of my life now. <laughs> 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 I mean, I could pop my clogs any minute now, and that's it. That's well, it. That's let, let's lovely. have a look at your footwear. That's your I mean, you that. need, in order to pop clogs, they've got to be inflatable. I would imagine. What are you talking about? What are you on about popping your clogs? I mean, oh. clogs are usually made out of wood, so you've invented a new concept there, really. You know. 
it's an old saying, isn't it? Bob I know, I know. Yeah. But there's no reason why we shouldn't modernise it, really. Yeah. That my my brother's uh, keen on that uh, golf um, uh, film that's coming on. It's called the, the the Phantom of the Open, and it was about a guy who uh, I think he was. It's a real story. I mean, it's for real. I think he worked as a welder or something like that in a shipyard. And basically, um, he decided he, he got very keen on golf. So he wants, he wanted to, um, in those days, I don't know when it was or something, but Severiano Ballesteros was just, you know, a, a quite a young player starting off and, you know, still very good. And um he died now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was a. He had a brain tumor. A lot of people um, thought he was a. He had a brain tumor. No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't know, but uh, I know it was very. Well, I'm putting you in the picture. That's it was a very popular. You know, it was a very popular person. Yeah. And uh, well admired and respected and. Yeah, of course, it was a good. And player. a good ambas ambassador for the game. And. Um, Anyway, basically, this this guy from Britain, who wasn't the best golfer, uh, because he, he he had to be a professional to join in with the Open Championship. You see, mm. and the Open Championship is the basically the the takes part in Britain, either Scotland or um, well, there's sometimes of it in Ireland and maybe even Wales as well, and England, um, and basically. Uh, it's called the Open because it was the first one, rather than the American Open or you know the Japanese Open or wherever Opens get played. But it's the original one, sort of thing. So he, I think, they must have been a bit laid back with the forms in those days, sort of thing, because he, you know, there's a question in it: Are you a professional? Which and he put down that he was a professional, and I think it meant. He, he took it that uh, you didn't necessarily have to be a professional golfer, but you could enter the competition if you were a, a professional welder. Um, I don't know if he deliberately misunderstood that, but they accepted his uh, entry anyway, and uh, and he turned out to be, you know, a, an enthusiastic amateur who wasn't particularly absolutely brilliant, but, you know, just like an average kind of, well, can, especially with the rest of the company he was playing against, uh, you know, he was a bit of a, you know. So, um, yeah, and also just put you in a picture, William Hurt died yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, he had prostate cancer and he died in Portland, Oregon, which is, was his where he lived and uh, he also had a place just on the outskirts of Paris. And he, uh, one of his films that he did was called Glocky Park. Yeah. Um, and, um, well, he was trying to encourage somebody called Gorky to park their car. Or was it about a park that was called Gorky? It was about a park. Yeah, oh, that, make, that makes more sense, you know, because if you've got a friend called Gorky, I mean, they, they, ought, they ought to be good at driving a car anyway, yeah. so you wouldn't have to necessarily encourage them to park. Okay. Yeah, thank you for letting us know anyway. Yeah. Do you, you prefer bringing the bad news and the sad news rather than the happy news? I mean, it, couldn't you... <laughs> Could he, couldn't you do a duo? You know, you'd be the sad news reader. Now we're going over to our sad news reader, Graham Simpson. Now, what sad stories have we got today, Graham? And then we'll go over to our happy news reader, Veronica, looking very nice in her spotty costume. What's happy... Looks like Johnny Rotten. What? What's happy stories have you got to relate to us today? Well... I'm looking forward to Charlotte coming tomorrow and potentially taking my hair up in a slightly different way and possibly improving the salon by making some suggestions. You've got another... Uh, thank you very much, um, Veronica. You've got another five ladies at home, haven't you, really? Yeah, yeah. 
all headless, all bodies. I mean, I've got the heads, I haven't got the bodies. Yeah. Um, you better emphasise now that these are, you know, plastic ladies. Yeah. Well, heads, anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, so that people don't think you're some kind of maniac with... Yeah. Yeah, I, I've got... I think I've got... 